As a kid, I was a shop kid. I grew up around shop. My dad was restoring all of the most powerful French art deco in the world. So I saw all this stuff come through his shop. As an inspiration, those pieces were always around me. And then the flip side of it was the automobiles. Automobile paint design. Bugatti made cars. And Bugatti also made furniture. Futuristic. That's really the name of the game. If you're in any in anything, I tell the young ones, your art has got to be something people someone the world has never seen before. The designers that he's working with now are demanding that. They're moving away from traditional. My favorite personal medium is the cast acrylic. My father thought, take acrylic, sand it, and apply paint to it. He just made a few sheets of acrylic where he applied um, dichroic automobile finish to it, color changing paint. As time went on, we began to experiment with altering the acrylic and then applying a finish. That led to different stages of alteration and preparation, which in turn led to a process which allows for dichroic paints, which should only be two colors, to actually change thousands of colors. Uh, which, to my knowledge, has never been done by anyone uh, ever, other than me and my, my shop. So I sit down with my team and I explain the design I want. We take a cast acrylic sheet, then we'll cut a test panel to make sure that our proposed design will be dynamic, it'll be what we want, it'll look interesting, it'll be visually dazzling, it'll be what I am envisioning in my mind. And then after we have fine-tuned the design and the cut, then we begin cutting the sheet into parts. After that, the parts are polished. painted and there you have it Uh, in essence, you're looking through the acrylic at the back of the carving. It's not easy. It's a process that's taken a very long time to develop. It's been a very tricky development process where there have been numerous failures, disappointments that have not gone well. But at this point, we have refined it to a point that I'm pretty pretty happy with it. I do enjoy the pieces. I think they're they're well made and they're original and they're visually dynamic to a point where people really don't know what to think of them when they see them. They're enthralled, usually, which is my hope. It's always best to have something conceptually created that's never been done before. And so that's what he's doing. <laughs>